Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now let's talk heroes, right? There's a few people in boxing I consider heroes because I put them a little bit above the great fighters. You know, the ones that are trying to do extraordinary things like become undisputed in weight divisions and things like that, going up or down the weight to, to challenge themselves. These guys have to have their own series, you know, Heroes 2.0 or something. You know what I mean? Because they're doing things that, you know, it's just totally different, right, and courageous, and uh, it stands out. So let's talk Mikey Garcia, right? Mikey Garcia, you know, after his fight with Robert Easter Jr. and before his fight, he was talking a lot about Errol Spence, the big bad boogeyman for the welterweight division. Everybody knows he's the man in the welterweight division, albeit Crawford has, have, has moved up. So, you know, but excluding Crawford in that 147-pound division, people seem to know that Errol Spence is the man. Now, Mike Garcia has been saying that he wants to move up to fight him, right? And uh, so people are going to feel the uh, funny ways, I've told you. Right, the welterweights are gonna be a little bit embarrassed by this because fighters like Sean Porter and Danny Garcia probably could have fought him earlier. Keith Thurman is on 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 the outskirts, really, because people would say him too. He could have fought Errol Spence by now, but he has been hurt with elbow injuries. And at least Keith Thurman could step back and say, "Well, whatever y'all talking about, I got wins over the two dudes that y'all talking about now: Danny Garcia and um your boy uh, Sean Porter. So back up and then let me heal, so he can at least say that. But other than that." If your name ain't Jeff Horn, you haven't said anything about Errol Spence. Now, after the Errol Spence and Mikey Garcia fight gets signed, everybody's going to get froggy and start saying something. That brings me to this thing with uh, Garcia versus Lomachenko. Right? Garcia versus Lomachenko. This is what Garcia has been saying. He, they've tried that many times. It's fell through for all kind of stuff. So he's not going to stay down at lightweight at 135 waiting for the Lomachenko match. He's going to challenge himself. He's not waiting. If they, you know, if they would feel froggy at any time, like he said before, any time, any day, he's willing to fight Lomachenko. But he says Bob Arum, the promoter of Lomachenko, will not let that happen. Now, this video is about this. There is no fight sign for Errol Spence versus Mike Garcia. Now, as we speak, it's not. They're just talking about it. The window for Mike Garcia versus Lomachenko is now, the next week or two. And if Lomachenko wanted to fight him, it's a perfect time to say so. But if Lomachenko has said, I'm over after my shoulder injury, I will be back around December. It's August, baby. They ain't number a couple of months away. I'm pretty sure if they felt froggy, that whole Lomachenko team and promotion team and everybody would be able to say, we can, we can get it going on right now. So let's see if that happens. Because what you don't want to happen, this is what this video is about. We don't want Mike Garcia to, to sign a contract to fight. Big old Errol Spence, and then Lomachenko and them starts feeling froggy. Now is the time before the fight signed. I think it would be a good thing if they came now and say, hey, well, let's get this done. Don't be trying to leave up. Well, where you going? That's what Lomachenko should be saying. Where you think you going? We stay at 135? Because we got some stuff that's going down here. We trying to get undisputed. We'll get the bell train later, but me and you, everybody know we're the best anyway. So let's fight in December. That should happen now, not after Garcia uh, signs the fight with Errol Spence. Now, no one wants uh, Mike Garcia. His whole team doesn't want him to go up there fighting Errol Spence, right? And uh, if I was his father, I'd be saying, yeah, fight Pacquiao too, right? But I've heard something else that's kind of, you know, irked me, you know? Not irked me, but I don't, I disagree with. And that's the, the narrative that this is a win-win for Mikey Garcia. Well, I understand the thought process. It's a win because, you know, Errol Spence is the man in welterweight. He's two divisions higher than you, right? And so he don't have to win this fight. That I got, right? And if he does win, wow, that puts him probably at number one pound for pound, but I just ain't putting nobody past Terrence Crawford yet, period. Especially when he's right in that same weight division where you can prove it after that fight. That wouldn't happen, but he would probably go to number two. I'd have to say, Deontay Wilder, man, you got to wait until you beat up Fury to get back at number two. This is my list, guys. So, uh, you know, that would be awesome. But here's the problem. It's not win-win because with Errol Spence Jr., two two weight division lower than him, you can get hurt. You can hurt your career, you know, big time. You know, ask Kell Brook. Kell Brook's a big old dude, big old you know dude who can hold, who's very strong, can move, you know, can punch, thudding punches, all those things, you know. 
and he got the eye socket broke and got, uh, you know, basically, you know, walked down after the end of the fight. He was walked down or beat down after the end of that fight, after having a good fight with Errol Spence. So that doesn't look so good for Mikey Garcia. That's why this is definitely not a win-win for him. I don't see that at all. And uh, the other point is Lomachenko, if he's feeling froggy, the window is closing now, right? This is, uh, and as far as Errol Spence goes, somebody coming up to fight him, you know, people have done it before, right? People have done it before uh, and haven't fought somebody in Mikey Garcia's you know, level. You know, you're talking about Golovkin fighting Kell Brook was one of the things. Golovkin fighting Mata Rose in the next fight. I always look for somebody smaller. And we're not even the quality of Mikey Garcia. So Errol Spence can relax and people talking smack because, it's, first of all, Errol Spence did not ask for this. Somebody calls Errol Spence out, I told you. They can call him out. It's like calling the candy man. Before you say his name twice, Errol Spence have already called you. That's people, like, certain people you don't call out. You know, like, Errol Spence is one of them. So if Mike Garcia said his name, he was already at the fight. Like, are you kidding me? What? Hey, man, I want to fight Errol. <clears throat> Your phone ringing. That's how Spence roll. So Errol Spence and Mike Garcia would be a good fight. Uh, you know, I would have Errol Spence just because of size. And, you know, you know, if Mike Garcia were to do this, it would be awesome. But no, it's not a win-win. That's first. It's not a win-win for Mikey Garcia. Second is, if Lomachenko wants to dance with Mike Garcia, the window is right now. Let's see what happens. Don't sports talk worldwide, and I'm out of here, y'all.